What's going on, people? It's your main man, Dame Drops. I'm in New Britain, Connecticut today, and I've got a challenge. The challenge is called Off the Menu. That's when I walk into an establishment, I talk to the owner, I talk to the chef. I want them to create a magnificent dish that is off the menu. Right now, 136 Main Street, I'm at a spot called The Kitchen. I'm about to slide up in there and see what this uh, chef or owner can do. What's going on, how you doing? How you doing, welcome to The Kitchen. Thanks, name is Dame Drops. I need to speak to whoever the chef is back there, whoever the owner is. Well, I'm the owner and the chef. My name is Vincent, very nice to meet you. All right, Vin, listen. I want to present a challenge to you right now. Challenge. <laughs> Like, like challenge, either you could do it or you can't do a challenge. I need for you to create a dish that is not on your menu. Get real creative, as creative as you want. Guess what, Damon? You came to the right restaurant in the right city, this challenge accepted. I'm about to go back in that kitchen and make some sexy food I off like my that. menu I today like for you. I man. And while you're doing that, why don't you go in the bar, relax while I cook up a storm and enjoy a nice cocktail in the house. Ooh. Ooh. I'll, I'll see, see you. you soon. You can come to this restaurant and say, hey, you go, make something off the menu. I gotta work with what I have. I have an idea. I'm gonna make Dame Drops sliders, but not just any sliders. I'm gonna make them Puerto Rican sliders three different ways. I already have a nice pork roasting for 13 hours. Might as well utilize that. I have our chicken that I've already been cooking for today. I'm gonna use that. And guess what? I got a nice New York strip. This is a signature blueberry mojito. It's a subtle hint of, we're here, we're in the building. I'm in your glass, I'm gonna give you a little sun. A couple of these, I might feel a little wave action going on, but this is a nice little compliment and a refreshing drink at the end of the day. And speaking of compliments and something refreshing, where's this man with my food? Ben, what we got going on right now, man? My brother, you put me on a spot. Boy, did you give me a challenge. But I, 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 I had to work with what I had in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I ended up doing three Puerto Rican sliders for you, man. Awesome. My man, we're going to start with our first slider. We took a New York strip. We marinated it in Puerto Rican seasonings. We sliced it thin, cooked it medium. We topped it off with a little bit of mojito, some chimichurri, and pico de gallo. Okay. And of course, it won't make a Puerto Rican without the tostones. Slide number two, we do a lot of festivals from a fungo, our Puerto Rican restaurant. You know, I said, you know what? We're gonna do one for Dame Drops. We have the chicken, we have the ingredients. It's a fried dough. We right. toss it with a little bit of herb mayo, some mozzarella cheese, some fresh pico, a fresh squeeze of lime, and our rotisserie chicken, a little side of avocado salsa. Nice. And our third and our last one, Dane, is our pernil. It's been cooking for 13 hours overnight. I had to use it. You know, I put on a nice, good Hawaiian bun. We bread it, we toasted it. It's nice and golden brown. And of mm -hmm. course, our crispy chicharrones. All right. So I hope you enjoy all three. Oh my goodness. I said go off the menu, get a little creative. You came out with three different dishes. I'm ready to get into this thing, man. So uh, I appreciate you. You enjoy. What direction do you even go in? They had to release the grease. This right here is all about securing the flavors. I can smell it just. Oh. I want you to take a look at the steak attack. My steak attack situation has that steak that's giving you that nice little bite right there. You're gonna get a little extra chew. And as you're chewing, as you're getting deep, rooted with the flavors, they're coming out because he has the addition of that fresh pico that's actually attacking. So you have that salt and pepper flair off the steak, but then that fresh just hint of whose garden is this notes that are jumping through on the steak. It was something miraculous. Now, I'm not one to leave anybody behind because apparently this was our little bun action right here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and hit this little thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Light little crisp, nothing too crazy. As far as a slider on its own, when I'm combining the two in thought, I'm saying to myself, it's a decent little slider. Nice little bite. You know I'm all about my rating system. For our steak slider that we happen to have up over here, I'm gonna go with a mean three and a half on that one. This is the one you don't need a fork for. You're talking about the carnival, fried dough. We have fried dough on the exterior. This is like a fried dough surprise, because inside is the surprise. It's like Christmas for food. Let me go ahead and take a bite of this thing right here and see what we have happening. 
Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> yes. Give me a minute. I was about to start crying. Hold on. You don't understand how soft that fried dough action is right there. You take a bite into it, you're getting very light crisp, light and flaky like a croissant. That's where you start. Then it gets cheesy. And then you have the chicken in there and there's little thick pieces of chicken that are happening. Oh my goodness. You wouldn't expect the flavors that burst out on your taste buds. It even cleanses your palate because it has a little bit of that garden pico freshness going on on the inside right there. This is something that is truly off the menu. When I'm thinking of off the menu, this is exactly where we're going. Fried dough, chicken slider. I'm already excited. You know I'm gonna give it a five all day. You know that, you, you knew where I was going. When I took the first bite and my eyes fell back into bliss, you knew where I was going, stop playing. But we gotta keep it moving, we're not done here. 13 hours on that pineal right there, 13. Did you count them? Did you, now, now, now I need my fork action right here. Oh my goodness. To me, it just looks like little small bacon bits are on the top. They need to be part of my pernil action along with our little Hawaiian bun. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this little bun because it'll be disrespectful to leave this off of our situation. Now you're gonna get some pernil up in there. Ooh, push it down with your finger just like that, right? And then you get some of them little, little baby bacon bits trying to escape. That's that Puerto Rican flavor right there. Puerto Rican little baby bacon bits. Let's go ahead and get a few more up on there. Ooh, ooh. Put that thing down. Now you see the butter. You see it for yourself right there. This thing is lathered with a little bit of butter, butter love, grilled up to near perfection. Now let me go ahead and take a bite of delight and see what happens. Although I think I already know. <laughs> mm. Sweetness from the roll. That pernil, 13 hours of flavor, absorbed into that meat, soft, tender. If ever you want to find yourself doing some fine dining and slide out to a lounge afterward and start dancing on a dance floor and you got that classical music playing, that's the dish that you take with you. Yeah. Oh, she beautiful. She don't just look good, she tastes good too. Yeah, you just take a route, them little crunchies right there. Better than bacon bits. Better than bacon bits. You know them bacon bits are soft. You know them bacon bits can't act right. This is what you need right here to add the pop inside of your mouth. Last time you had a pop inside of your mouth, it was probably from them little packets of Pop Rocks. I'm gonna go ahead and give this little masterpiece right here. I'm gonna give it a heavy four. All right, guys, one more can I say. We just had three amazing off-the-menu dishes here at the kitchen, 136 Main Street, New Britain, Connecticut. The chef Vincent delivered. He gave us our challenge. He beat the challenge. And now it's time to challenge someone else. Oh, yeah. It's time to challenge someone else. Off the menu with Dame Drops. <laughs>